Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the figure right standard. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. Got mine from Tatsu Hobby. And uh, this is a kit that you have to assemble. I've uh, recently reviewed Kid Buu and gotta have the Super Saiyan 3. It's actually quite nice. And actually looking forward to this. The SH figure at Super Saiyan 3, it's good but it has some flaws. So hopefully this one kind of, oh, it's a bit better. Now it is a bit different since this is a figure eye standard. They're slightly bigger than your figure eyes. But it'll be nice to have a good uh, depiction of Super Saiyan 3. Now this retails about 2800 yen. So probably roughly about $30. Yep. So that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so we have a Goku here. And here we go. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. Now, it's a bit uh, of a challenge getting him to stand, uh, you know, on, a, on your table. Uh, just because you have a lot of hair on the back. It's a bit back heavy. But, as you can see here, they're basically the same mold uh, from the head down. You know, from the neck up to the toes. It's basically the same mold, and it makes sense to have that. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same. And uh, the difference is the head. Uh, now, for Super Saiyan 3, aside from the uh, big bushy <laughs> hair here, kind of like Sonic, uh, doesn't have the eyebrows, which is true here, which is good. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. So now uh, we have this awesome hair here, and it's actually a combination of uh, like a two-piece. It's like a clamshell. You just combine the two pieces, so you get this first one here, then a second, then a third, and then a fourth, and you kind of build up on that. And it's just amazing. Really nice hair. And this, it's really nice. It's This is a lot better than the figure arts. <laughs> so I'm so happy that uh, I got this kit. And it's easy to build. You know, it's not that difficult. I mean, if you've been building the high grades, it's not that different. It's actually a lot easier than that. It's less parts. So that's that. Really cool. Now for the neck. You now the neck could have some a little difficulty, especially with that uh, giant hair here. This hair here, there's no articulation to it. It's all snapped together, and it just fits. And that's it. So uh, neck articulation could be a little bit hindered. And he's always uh, kind of crouching forward uh, because of that. You kind of have him lean back, maybe. But uh, definitely, it's a bit uh, hindered. But you know, that's okay. You have that awesome hair there. Now for the shoulder, it's pretty much the same as the normal Goku. But uh, we'll go over it. So you have this hinge here. There is a bit of a gap, and you can kind of see that, but. I think that's okay. I mean, this is a kit after all, but uh, it does give you, or a trade-off to that, you get that awesome articulation uh, for the shoulder, which allows you to you know, pretty much maybe do a cross block, or uh, especially later on for the Kamehameha wave, so you can do that awesome poses with that shoulder. You get your bicep swivel, you get your elbow bent, it's only a single joint there. And you have your, yeah, your wrist joint here. There's no poly caps on this. Everything is just uh, plastic, but everything worked out. Then uh, you have this. It's actually a hinge and a poly cap combination in the torso, which allows you to lean forward a little bit. And it's nice that the, you don't see the gap. And maybe lean back. Then you can rotate it side by side. Now uh, for the waist joint here, it's kind of like the figure arts, which you can uh, move down. Gives you a bit more space to move the leg up. And you can uh, rotate this from here. Quite nice. On the back side though, you kind of see the peg connection there. But it's in the back, so it's not too bad. Especially this section here. Uh, the figure arts uh, back side, it's really caved in uh, to compensate for the bending. This one, uh, it's filled in, which is quite nice, and you get that much. It's quite interesting how they, it's only a single joint too, but this knee uh, is molded all the way to the back here, and uh, doesn't leave you a, uh, much gaps, so that's really good. 
it's a really cool design how they did that so this whole thing the knee goes all the way to the back here but it fills in as you bend it really good now you have your leg gear you have a little bit of rotation there uh, but there's a kind of like a lock and make so you cannot you can't really rotate fully which you don't really need to <laughs> and then you have your ankle articulation here it is on a peg system you can uh, slide this onto the side now on this one I've applied the stickers there's stickers for this for the red uh, section for the boots I've applied those um, for the Goku that I have before I've painted them and just kind of give you a comparison between a painted and the stickers you can this this one here is painted this one is stickers they're pretty much uh, the same so actually the stickers are not too bad to use although for the mouth I've always painted the tongue just because of the curvature maybe I'll try the stickers next time but as for something like that it's probably best for the, the paint all right so you just pop this down swap it out with this here we go uh, let's see if we can get this thing here somehow how come it's not going in <laughs> all right there we go I mean you can remove the this uh, segment of the hair but I think that's fine so you get the anger face and aside from that you have the other hands actually you have uh, this one here just teleport uh, mode <laughs> or when he wants to teleport so you have that otherwise you have the hands now this it's kind of a bit of a like a, a two things either he can uh, block a punch or use his Kamehameha all right so uh, let me have him on that pose which he can do without much problem now for the effect parts it's the same as Goku you're gonna get this little small one just an energy ball and you just kind of have put your finger or the fingers around it and there you go quite nice otherwise you have the Kamehameha effect part here and just kind of have him in the middle there we go something like that quite nice and as always to give you the stand the stand is remember the same as Goku you have this uh, particular one with a crotch support it goes here unfortunately you have this little base I wish they make this a little bit bigger because chances are I mean I got lucky there <laughs> you gotta really tilt that uh, back support otherwise it's not gonna work so there we go I um, can have in that pose really nice Crotchy. just gonna have that uh, effect and gotta have Kid Boo next to him, right? So I have my Kid Boo here. <laughs> Maybe I give him a certain pose. I took some pictures on my Facebook page. So, uh, yeah. And get my camera here. Yeah, quite nice. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the review for Super Saiyan 3 it, it is a nice kit um, highly recommend uh, getting it uh, the the figure standard line has been great so far I mean initially there is some I had some issues with my Goku here but over time I mean from what you're getting afterwards and what you can uh, do with it it's great it's a nice kit and that being a kit and slash being a figure afterwards it's a lot more fun than just getting a figure arts or SH figure arts. Anyways, that's about it for this review. Hope you guys like it. If you got questions, uh, let me know. I'll probably get the Super Saiyan 4 versions later on. We'll see. I'm actually got quite backlogged with kits to review this month. But I will definitely uh, pick those up later on. And that's about it. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching.